Shannon Bream is live with the very latest. What a pleasure, Shannon Bream. Dagan, it is always my pleasure to be with you. Good to see you, my, uh, my friend, today. So let's talk about this. There were a couple of plaintiffs in New York. These guys are legal gun owners, law-abiding citizens. They had permits for things like hunting and target shooting, but they said, I don't think it should have to end there. I want a concealed carry for self-defense. And that New York law said essentially you had to have a heightened showing that you had some specialized threat or need. And today, six to three, as you said, the court said, no, that's not going to happen. Justice Thomas writing for the court said, I don't know of any other constitutional right that you're going to have to exercise only after you can show the government that you actually have some kind of special needs. He, he went on to conclude this. New York's proper cause requirement, that's that heightened requirement, violates the 14th Amendment in that it prevents law-abiding citizens with ordinary self-defense needs from exercising their right to keep and bear arms. Now, keep in mind, there were people in New York that were able to, if, you know, if you have a specialized kind of, um, you know, career or position that would make sense that you would need a gun to defend yourself. But also, you know, celebrities and, you know, sports stars and lawmakers. I mean, a lot of people would able, were able to either have someone protecting them that had guns or they themselves were able to show that they could get that permit, that specialized permit. And the argument was, why shouldn't just normal average people who are law-abiding citizens and legally own their guns also be able to get that permit? So basically today, the you know Chief Justice, or excuse me, um, Justice Thomas, writing for that 6-3 majority said, that's going to be the lay of the land now. So Justice Breyer, who is retiring, you know, in a few days, he actually writes for the dissenters, and he starts with outlining all the cases and the stats regarding gun violence. He talks about Buffalo and Uvalde, those those two tragedies we are still kind of digesting. But then he goes on to say this. He says, many states have tried to address some of the dangers of gun violence by passing laws that limit who may purchase, carry, or use firearms of different kinds. The court today severely burdens states' efforts to do so. So there's clearly a split in the court. The president says he is deeply disappointed, but gun rights activists um, who have been fighting for this for years say they are feeling vindicated tonight, Dagan. It's about a century, uh, a century old law here. And um, it was clearly in some way a way for politicians to control who got guns and who didn't. They did hand them out as a special political gifts and favors over the years. And the origin of it, Shannon, was a Tammany Hall corrupt Democrat politician and who was an overlord of gangs in the city. And it was a way to keep, disarm rival gangs, enemy gangs, and to ensure that guns still stayed in the hands of gangs that were part of the Tammany Hall corruption network. So it's kind of interesting. So it was, it, it, it was they were not looking out for the public safety and the safety of <laughs> citizens. But I, I digress, Shannon. Thank you so much for your terrific reporting. You can watch Shannon tonight, every weeknight at 11 p.m. She's fantastic and never evil. I am not. Have a great show, Dagan. Thank you so much.